Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm going to do my little Libras, my little lab, my little librarians. Okay. I'm going to do Rala. Okay. Now until uh, September 9th. Um, look at my hair. The, I had the bird on my shoulder over here a second ago and was literally nibbling at my ear and my hair. So I don't know. Are you guys nibbling at things? Are you being little nibblers? Okay. Being a, we got a little frisky energy, my little Libras. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So, I'm gonna do a different style of reading. Okay, you know me, I'm always doing that. I'm gonna read intuitively and try to get channeled messages to you guys at the same time. Okay, which I, I normally don't don't do. Um, I do and I don't help you with what. I think it was too tight to put on. Alright, you just got Kai. What? You just got Kai with the shoelace. Yeah. Should be all set. Are those wet? No? Just feel that way? Did you grab the Devika out of my wallet? Mm. Yeah? Mm. No. Find out what's going on, my my Libras, my Libras. Uh, black wallet on my bed. Two of Pentacles to me right now. This is not juggling. This is you trying to figure out. Well. When you're trying to figure out something, people just assume you're juggling. To me, no, you're putting you're putting practical effort into trying to you know figure out something, um, what your next move is, which direction you should go with. I will tell you right now, you're dealing with karma, so just keep that in the back of your head that if somebody came back into your life or met somebody new or anything like that, it's karma. Okay. Um, so try to ground yourselves while making this decision. Um, and it's not even a, a difficult decision. It's it's more of like a... I don't see a difficult decision here. I just don't. Um, huh? I feel like some of you just got out of a relationship with the Two of Cups reversed. Um, I love you. I love you too. Have a good day. You got my card? Yeah. You got the key? Yeah. All right. Love you. Love you. Um, to me, this is, and I just said comma. Here's justice. All right. I knew you were with the seven of cups. It's always my comma card. All right. On what, where you want to go, where you want to go next, what, what you want to do, looking at your options. Okay. Is it a good option? Or is it a bad option? Do I want to make this move? Do I not want to make this move? Do I want to purchase something? Do I not want to purchase something? Um, a connection just ended. Okay. Um, I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarius or not having a star here. To me, this is just have faith. Okay. Because some of you might be a little like, mm, a little, a little iffy on what direction to go with. Um, with this new step with justice here, it's like opening Pandora's box. Okay. So this is karma. So choose wisely. Okay. Um, three of cups reverse. So not I don't know if you just got yourself, and that was a star. That was a damn three, two. I don't ever want to butcher this star. But, you know, two threes, threes back to back like that. Like, A, you could be overindulging. But to me, son of a bitch. I think something ended because of something, whether it was third party or not. Um. But the energy is still here. Do I go to me? Do I leave the past and, and go towards the future? This is somebody contemplating whether or not to leave the past behind. 
um, or exposing something. Okay, I'm telling you, you open that box, that's why you're carefully considering, considering, and it's not, I'm telling you to carefully consider this because you're playing with karma. This is like playing with magic, okay? This is, am I going to repeat the wheel or not? Am I going to repeat the wheel? Am I not going to repeat the wheel? <laughs> Told you with the world right here. Figure it out. You're about to open Pandora's box, my little uh, Libras. I'd say don't stress over this too much. Kind of think about it. Be practical, but... You're playing with karma. So this has to be a very grounded decision. Tell me about the two of pence. Um, the queen of wands. Yeah, you, to me this is saying use your damn intuition. Um, allow the white light versus dark, if that makes sense to you guys. Okay. Um, there's a lot of magical stuff happening in my reads. Which is bizarre. But, um, to me, it's waiting on taking action. Stay grounded, stay focused, stay determined. Um, eight of Wands. This is, talks about a spiritual journey. So, to make this decision right here. All I can tell you right now is be careful. This is karma, so listen to me. If you go back towards the past, I don't know if you're going to repeat the cycle or not. If you go towards your future, I don't know if you're going to repeat the cycle or not. That's on you right now, and you alone. I mean, your card's right here. I mean, it's it's the justice card right here. It's you're not balancing out scales. You're you might even expose a secret. <sighs> Tell me about this justice. I feel like something's about to be exposed, and I don't have exposure on my board, but I feel it. Tell me about justice. There we go. Did you guys even hear the sound of my cards for a minute? It didn't, they didn't even want to sound right. All right, four of pence, we're holding on to something. We're holding on to a thought. We're holding on to whether or not, tell me about this four of pence, you're going to expose. Whether it's feelings, whether it's friends, whether it's to have a new start. You got the ace of pence reverse. So it's something. It's, it's either have a brand new start with somebody, invest time into something, something being justified, but you're still holding on to it. You're not exposing it. I think if you expose yourself with whatever this is, something's going to end. But with the Ace of Pence being right here next to the world, I'm just kind of throwing my cards in different directions, reading intuitively for you guys. All right, with the Ace of Pents next to the world, if something ends, there's going to be a brand new stat, regardless whether it's the past or something brand new. Whatever this justice is, whatever this is that needs to be exposed or you're thinking about exposing, you're holding on to, you haven't exposed it yet. So within the next two weeks, I think to me, you know, comments here, you're deciding whether or not to expose whatever this is, whatever, or explore these new options. To me, it's, it talks about taking a journey too, but being very um, intuitive while you do this very in tuned with Mother Earth right now, very in tuned with the universe. Um, but you also know if you go in a different direction, you're changing your, your journey. I know I'm not focusing on this to a, to a cups connection because I don't feel like it's important enough right now. I don't think I think this is already done with. Tell me about this stuff. To me, I, I don't ever want to ever look at a card this way, but this is like a third party to me. Because it's sitting on top of the Three of Cups with the Four of Swords. Yeah, see, coming out of heartache, coming out of whatever this was that you needed to rest from, because there was some tricky shit here. 
when it comes to my, my whole little pile over here, that's some tricky shit. All right, two of cups, a connection being broken, somebody looking behind, all right, two people moving forward. Um, with the three of cups being reversed, not coming back into happier times, maybe with this particular person, no reconciliation, hearts have been broken, it's time to rest, all right? And it's looking in this direction, not this one. So I think a lot of my Libras are going in a new direction. But... I also think right now you know whatever's in your life at this moment is karma. Ouch. Ouch. Don't panic. <laughs> but you're definitely sitting in karma. All right. So I'm going to pull a different deck of cards and see if I can get different messages. <clears throat> so let's see. You, we might be able to relate it to this read. We might not. Okay. But I'm going to use a different deck and see what else we get from my little librarians. My little librarians. Woo-wee. Woo-wee, Pandora's box. Woo-wee. Woo-wee. To me, it's secrets. Ah, you met somebody new. You met somebody new. There's somebody. And you're like, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Or it could be the past too, but to me, this talks, this talks new looking, you know, looking towards your happiness, looking beyond illusion, okay? Not looking back towards the past, not focusing on negative aspects of things. This is grounding yourselves and going towards your happy. Um, yeah, see, coming out of the past, I told you that's why I wasn't so concerned with that pile. Um, because you're not, you're not clinging like you were before, okay? You're, you're setting free. But the thing is, you're dealing with karma. So I'm going to tell you right now, even if you met somebody new, it's karma. doesn't mean it's a bad thing, but it, it, it's karma. So that means be careful. And it, you're like, I don't know what to do. Do I open the damn box or do I not? Oh, I mean, yeah. I don't know what to say to you guys. That's tough, all right? Um, that's tough because you want to go towards your happiness. You want to experience new things. You're not so much clinging on to the past anymore. You're definitely letting go of the past, which is great. Um, I think there's somebody new that stepped into your life. Tell me about tell me about friendliness. Um, this could just be flirting, okay? Um, creativity and that was reversed too with the other like three of cups but it's like it's still deciding whether or not you want to have new move forward yeah it's the same thing experiencing it's just you don't know what to do you don't know whether or not to open that box open your heart open the box see the secrets you're holding on to either your emotions secrets no nah, it's not even emotions you're hanging on to either a secret that needs to be exposed, all right, where you feel like because of who you are, you feel like it needs to be exposed, but you know you're playing with fire, all right, and you're coming out of the exhaustion, which is nice because your mind was nuts. I just was clarifying it. So yeah, like, ah, but you're going to come out of that and make the right decision within the next two weeks, okay? Tune in, meditate, all right, be, be, be with one, be at one, okay? Um, let me pull your lessons. And then I'm going to use a different deck real quick. Um, you're definitely playing with karma. Well, you know, everything in life is karma, guys. Whether it's good, it's bad, it's... Everything changes, you know, just like the seasons. Like, that's it. So, right now, because of who you are, you're, you're just you're trying to make... A practical decision. Um, yeah, trust at the bottom of the deck too. Uh, so it's a tough one, all right. But it was a very clear cut, all right. Having the courage to move forward, all right. Looking at the positive side of life versus the negative aspects of your life, because um, you have humor here. So look at look at the lighter side of life, okay. You have judgment here too, all right. I understand that everything has you know their own paths and challenges and stuff, and and you're just trying to figure out yours right now because. 
your crossroads cards didn't come out, but you're definitely at your crossroads. There's no question. Okay. Um, come on, baby. You're most definitely, you can't sit on my deck. You are most definitely at your crossroads when it comes to something. So. Just have the strength to move forward and, and and make the right decision with judgment being here too. All right, like you're, you're in your element, you you should be able to make the right decision. Okay, um, I kind of feel like for some, by opening that box, it's more than just change. Is um, I got the goosebumps. What was it? I was gonna say it's 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 more than life changing. I mean, you did have the world there with a new start, but like I think you can. F up somebody else's life. So I think this is a big decision on wh what you're going to do. Okay. Um, but please understand that nothing will grow and evolve without me movement. Like you have to push through. So some of you might have to open up Pandora's box. Can we stop biting my ear? Can we stop? Hey, stop biting mama's ear. I had enough of that today. You're awfully nibbly. I don't know if birds teeth even though they have no teeth, but he's awfully nibbly. Oh my God, isn't that funny? In the middle, in the in the middle of the in the beginning of your video, didn't I say that you guys uh didn't I say like frisky or something? I said something. I'm pretty sure. Um, but could have been in some video. Sorry, guys. Um, Kai, I had enough of that. Stop, stop messing with Mama. I had enough. All right, I, I had enough of you doing that with your mother right now. You can go sit right there then. Um, just accept this change. I, I think opening that box is very, um, it's an important decision that needs to be made and you're not taking it lightly, which is good. Okay. But I also think it can ruin somebody, but it might be the only way you can like live with yourself if that makes sense like by doing the right thing because you're a libra and you want to balance out the scales and you know what i mean i know some of you guys know exactly what i'm talking about so i wish you the best of luck there okay i know you yeah, make the right decision do do what makes you feel good at the end of the day okay um but I wouldn't say make this decision lightly, okay? Yeah, you're definitely um, in a very karmic cycle, okay? But if you do the right thing, justifying something the right way, karma will come around tenfold in a very, very good way for you, okay? So we have the two of cups again reversed, all right? So... You have a connection with somebody. I don't know if it can expose them. Um, or you're just afraid to connect with somebody again with the seven of acorn. But you're, you're very determined to move forward. You got the moon reversed. So you're kind of like, your per your perception of something needs to change. And you're going to figure it out. But right now you're kind of looking at the negative aspect of things because we're sitting in moon energy. So take these next two weeks um, day by day, okay, um, before you make any sudden decisions, okay? Um, cause some of you guys are real close to opening the box and, and exposing that secret with the moon being reversed. Something could have just got exposed too. But stay focused, stay determined, all right? Um, You need stamina right now. You also need grounding. Okay. So spend some time outdoors. Hi. Hi. And the emperor. Yeah. I just said stay focused. All right. That's the perfect energy right now. But at the same time, the emperor doesn't use their heart and to make decisions. Doesn't necessarily use their soul to make decisions. And I feel like there is some soul required to make this decision, okay? So just be aware of that. Tell me about the emperor. But this talks about stability, all right? But the emperor next to the moon, 
you take that as is. Okay, so be careful. Tell me about the emperor, please. The emperor, the emperor. All right, the wheel change. Yeah, see, you know. All right, so you know there's brand new possibilities. Okay, but I think in order for you to take those possibilities, something needs to be exposed. And we have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. So now we have the Emperor and the Empress. Okay, so that's a court couple right there too. But it could, whatever you're exposing could be your past, but it could benefit your future. I don't know. You're my Libras. Okay, use, use practicality here um, to make the right decision whether or not you're going to open Pandora's box. Okay. That's um a huge wanna come? A huge um you wanna come to mama? Um decision that you need to make. You don't wanna come see mama? Fine. I wish you the best of luck. Okay, I really do. Um you guys will figure it out. You really will. Alright, I'm gonna read you an oracle and then we're gonna wrap it up. Wrap it up, wrap it up. Let me begin. Something, something, something. Something is a sin. Oh, I'm telling you, you guys got a big freaking decision in front of you. All right. Very karmic decision. You don't want to repeat that cycle. And I don't think you will, but the right decision needs to be made at the same time. Okay? Card for my Libra, please. Card for my Libra. Wow, this is one of my favorite reads today. I'm not going to lie to you. High Priestess of Fire, and then Fulfillment at the bottom of the deck fell out. Fulfillment's all about following um, your intuition and your soul. So I told you, there's you have to use a little bit of your soul to, to make this decision, okay? Don't take it lightly. I think you're thinking, you know, because if, you, if you're absorbing the Emperor energy, you, you can make that decision at the snap, like out of the blue, wake up and be like, okay, like, I'm going to do it. Use a little bit of your soul, okay? But it also could be saying... Make just make the right decision no matter what to have that new stat, okay? So, and you're a little conflicted over it because we got the five here too. But within the next two weeks, I have a funny feeling you're going to figure it out, okay? Whenever she arrives, she reminds you your ability to create your own reality and choose to channel how you're, you're going to use your own energy. If you're restless, call upon the high priestess of fire for inspiration and joy. She will release you from the trap of boredom. She brings fire and warmth and also burns out quickly, so don't let it get out of control. Don't let it get out of control, especially being the emperor, okay? Spend your energy creatively, not impulsively, and guard yourself against the light burning out. Use your fire wisely and let your light shine brightly again. So you know what you need to do. All right? It's just a matter of picking up that key and placing it in the right direction to open the right door, okay? I love you guys. Bye.